Hey guys, I might regret starting the vlog like this, like without makeup. I look tired as heck, oh my god. Anyway, I've got the day off and I just thought I would do a cute little daily vlog of me reading and like what I get up to today. To be honest with you, it's already like 12 o'clock and I just got back from getting my nails done. I went to this place for the first time because my boyfriend Jamshed got me a voucher for my birthday, which was literally over a month ago, to go and get my nails done at this random place. And <laughs> I was like, oh dear. What if he's picked like a place that isn't that good and doesn't have the stuff that I usually go for, but it was absolutely perfect as you can see. <laughs> oh <my> God. <laughs> so cute i literally love getting my nails done like i feel like a whole different person like it's like a refresher on my life and it makes me really feel like that be but anyway yeah i feel like i'm looking kind of cute today i did my hair all nice before i left i didn't bother with my makeup because i was just gonna wear a mask the whole time and also as usual i was running late so yeah that's the situation but i will be doing my makeup very shortly because i'm going to be filming a video today i'm hoping to film my january february wrap-up video which is really exciting which like i always say in these vlogs may or may not already be up on my channel but yeah i read quite a lot in january and like literally nothing in february not nothing but not very much at all because i wasn't having a very good month um and that's why i've been gone also like i think i uploaded a couple of videos like my birthday vlog and obviously the finland vlog oh, i'm so sad to be back from holiday honestly like i'm back at work and it's disgusting oh, like i said i'm gonna film that video i actually got the cutest dress from tiktok recommendation it's actually from bershka but I don't know if you guys have seen it because I don't know like how viral it went to be honest but like viral enough that like they were all selling out and I managed to get one and it's so cute and that's kind of why I did my nails pink was because I got the pink dress, the pink dress from the cutest TikTok ever. So yeah, I'm going to wear that for my video because I'm feeling very pink today. I'm going to eat because I literally haven't eaten all day, all morning and I'm starving and I bought some croissants and i don't know why i just said it like that but i think while i'm eating i'm gonna watch mike's mic do that pll video i watched the first part which was like two hours long and i'm like nearly at the end of the second part so yeah i don't have a life clearly but yeah oh i love pll so much if you didn't know that's like my number one personality trait is that i love pll i love pll so much i've rewatched it a countless amount of times probably 10 plus to be honest at this point and i had the best theories and none of them came true obviously we know it kind of flopped at the end i love watching people talk about it because it's so damn funny like that show is such a mess but also really iconic anyway i feel like i'm gonna have a good day it's so sunny i don't know if you can see through my dirty window Whoa, blue skies so yeah i just had the nicest walk and honestly i'm kicking myself because i saw so many daffodils on the way home why didn't i buy any daffodils when i went shopping is the question i think i'm gonna go now so i can eat i'll update you guys with all my reading plans later because i do want to read this afternoon like i don't want to just like watch tv or anything like that I've done my hair as you can tell I tried to do little braids but honestly my fingers just don't know how to braid no matter how much I practice I can do like two simple plaits but I can't do like Dutch or French braids for some reason but anyway I am now in my cute little dress which matches my nails very bright okay wait let me show you the whole dress okay ignore any mess in the background but this is the dress. I really love the back of it the most. It's so freaking cute. It's a little bit see-through to be honest. So I think it's supposed to be like worn to the beach technically. Okay, now I need to figure out how I'm gonna film this video because I want to film it on my couch, but the light isn't really very good and I don't have a tripod for my phone. So yeah, I'm gonna figure it out and then I'll talk to you guys after filming. Hopefully it will go okay. Before I start, these are most of the books that I'll be talking about in this video. These are the physical books that I read in January and February, mostly in January to be honest, and one DNF. Yeah, I just thought I'd talk about that one because I have some thoughts. And then yeah, I think I listened to and finished two audiobooks during those two months. So I'm going to be talking about all of these. So if you're interested, I'll leave the link because I'd probably be uploading that one first. 
hi guys it's like hours later after i filmed the video which took like 45 minutes by the way i don't know why it took me so long but i had so many books to talk about and i talked about them kind of in depth i got so tired my boyfriend got home like early from work and i literally crashed and fell asleep i napped on the sofa for like i don't know how long to be honest he said it was like maybe half an hour but yeah i just felt like so crap after that i hate taking naps i think it's been like a week of like not really going to sleep properly so now i'm going to do some washing some laundry and then i need to sort on my bookshelves actually because i've accumulated so many books over the last like couple of months and i haven't rearranged my bookshelves since i want to say january or like before christmas now even i don't even know it looks semi-decent at the moment but i've got so many more books in like cupboards downstairs oh okay not me dropping my phone i have so many freaking books downstairs in my bag because i brought a lot of proofs home from work that i've accumulated i've just got a lot of books i kind of need to reinstate another book buying ban almost um yeah no i'm gonna be very conscious about how many books i buy in the upcoming months because yeah it's kind of looking full obviously you can see there's books at the top as well there's books on my kind of like dressing table chest of drawers over there as well and yeah pretty full we're looking pretty full so yeah now i'm gonna do some washing and then i will show you guys what i end up doing with my books um i am gonna keep vlogging until i go to sleep basically so i don't know what this vlog is actually gonna turn out to be but i still plan on reading i haven't read a single page today i've just been in such a reading slump lately like for like the last month um so whatever i read i just want to enjoy it so i'm just gonna pick up something random and um, whatever i'm in the mood for and yeah i'll let you know if i end up reading as well so at the moment Jeremy Chad's watching football downstairs and I really like reading to football because it's definitely like background noise to me and like it doesn't distract me whatsoever because I couldn't care less but I also like background noise and I like being with him when I'm reading like spending time with him so it's kind of perfect it's kind of like a win-win situation um so yeah we're gonna do that <laughs> No, you guys don't understand this is a sick joke that took me like four trips to go up and down the stairs let me just show you what is going on in my life huh there are also more on like i said on my little i don't know what this is here oh my god and do you guys see much room because i don't look at those up there awful okay ideally what i definitely want is to have like a shelf or like part of a shelf dedicated to proofs and arcs that publishers have sent me whether i've read them or not and kind of like group them by that as well the ones that i've read on one side and the ones that i'm yet to read on the other side just so it reminds me and they're not kind of lost within the shelves because there are some finished copies that i've also been sent by publishers but mainly i just want to get everything on the shelves and like organized nicely and looking nice um i don't really film in front of my bookshelves anymore so it's not like the biggest consideration but it is in our room it's in our bedroom it's at the bottom of our bed so yeah it's kind of important okay i have no clue where to start but firstly i'll take this off i need to frame this actually so my sister got me this for christmas and i haven't framed it yet i think i decided on the name con what a cutie first job will probably be to take all of the books off my shelves that have been sent to me by a publisher This is the pile of books that I've been sent by publishers since I started working at my job, which has been around six months, so not too bad. Like, I've been trying to hold back and I've been only asking for proofs that I really, really want. That has subsequently freed up some space on my shelves. I don't really know what to do with this top shelf. That's kind of where I wanted to put the proofs. But what I'm going to do is fill in all the gaps with the books that aren't proofs okay i've made a little bit of progress i've updated 
my kind of classics mixed in with kind of manga shelf this is so random honestly like don't take any tips from me in terms of organizing your books i've made all of those books stand up like that instead of one on top of each other just to save space and i've basically put some of my poetry at the end as well i've still got a few books i'm taking off books on my shelf that i know i do not want and i want to take to charity anyway um so i am freeing up space okay i've had the best idea but also it's going to give me a lot of work because i've decided i'm going to put my proofs in order of publication day we're going to be here all night so there are all my proofs in order of publication roughly i kind of had to guess the first few because they've already come out mainly it's just important for the more recent ones so i know when they're going to come out and which ones to prioritize i'm actually reading this one right now the one on the end it's called violet and it is translated from korean and yeah it's really interesting so far Hello guys, it has actually been like over a week since I last spoke to you in this vlog. I paused it so that I could do two other vlogs, but I'm back. And yeah, I'm just going to carry this on as kind of like a March reading vlog or like kind of what I get up to in March kind of thing. So I think I'm going to vlog for the rest of the week and add it on to that day that I was showing you. It is actually Monday and I have the day off. I'm working for the next three days, uh, but I do have some errands to run today. So I actually have to go into work to pick something up and then i also have to go to the post office which is kind of in the same kind of area so i'm gonna go out today i'm gonna go and do that all in one go and i might be able to actually show you guys a little bit of my bookstore depending on how busy it is i'm not gonna say where i work because that just doesn't feel right to me to tell you guys where i work but i might show you around just a little bit unlike during this whole vlog i am actually reading something now and that is nothing but black and teeth by cassandra core and i started this last night i am now over 30 pages in i'm on chapter two which is page 33 so they're kind of relatively long chapters and the book itself is only 120 pages so i'm already like kind of far in percentage wise i don't know how to feel about this one yet i kind of find the writing style really difficult to get on with because it just seems like really clunky and like i don't even know how to explain it but there are so many words in each sentence that just don't need to be there i just feel like every single sentence is doing the most i just feel like it's an uncomfortable reading experience because i'm not really focusing on the story it's more like i'm focusing on like what the frick is that word like what does that word even mean like i don't know if i'm just like stupid but yeah tell me if you've read this and like how what you thought of the writing style because I just don't think I'm going to get along with it in this book. Even though I've only read 30 pages, I just know that like this style of writing just isn't for me. The other thing is I still don't really understand what the heck is going on. So it's these four people, uh, these two men and these two women who are kind of, I guess, on holiday together in Japan in this like massive mansion that one of them has rented out because his dad is rich or something like that. And honestly, if I hadn't read like the synopsis of the book, I wouldn't even know why they were there. So two of them are getting married to each other um and it all seems like really dramatic and complicated and that the four of them have all kind of dated each other in the past and the two women don't even get along they seem like they actually despise each other but other than that we haven't really been told anything about like why they're there why are the four of them going to this place to look for wedding venues it's super confusing there was a part where they were standing outside of the house and then all of a sudden in the next sentence they were in the house but i didn't even know how they got in the house like it was just i don't know i don't know <laughs> i'm gonna keep reading because it's definitely intriguing there's obviously this bride character this like undead bride so the main character is actually like hearing a voice and she doesn't know if it's in her head or not apparently the mansion that they're at was the place that this bride was waiting for her groom to arrive and he never arrived because i think he died on the trip there and then she basically like told the people that she was with to bury her alive because she wanted to wait for him forever whatever it sounds really scary but like i'm not kind of scared because i'm not like in the story yet i don't know i will obviously keep you guys updated with all of my thoughts on this one because i just think it's gonna be a wild ride like i don't know if i'm gonna like it or not like depends on the story really like it could turn around but yeah i don't have much hope and i'm really sad because it was so promising i need to give it a bit more of a shot though because i've only read 33 pages like i need to get a grip but anyway there's that um i'm not really reading anything else at the moment i am reading something for like a secret 
TBR video. I've kind of just like had like the biggest realization recently that I don't have have to read things. Like there aren't certain like oh I've just felt so much pressure to read certain things because like I make videos. But it's honestly it's all in my head and it's all really silly. It's like I'm putting pressure on myself to do certain things and I'm like oh okay I really need to read that one because I said this this and that. But like why? <laughs> you guys don't understand like I'm a bit delirious at the moment because I've just had like the biggest realization and like I just feel like my channel's going in a really good direction because I've had like a bunch of realizations. But anyway, I think that's my boyfriend back. I think I can hear him coming in the front door. So I'm gonna conclude this clip. I'm gonna read a little bit more and I will catch up with you guys in a little bit. Hello, uh, we got back from running some errands. Yeah, I've made myself a cup of tea in my Audrey mug that I think my sister got me years ago. You can tell because it's a little bit faded. I think she got this in the lanes in Brighton. Very cute and quirky, love it. One of my favorite mugs. Great cup of tea if I do say so myself. So I didn't read any more of this. I did actually take it with me in my bag just in case because the other day I was doing a 24 hour readathon and I went to the park and there was a bench in the park and I forgot to bring my book which was a tragedy. So I thought just in case I ended up going and sitting down somewhere, I would take this, but I didn't. But <laughs> while I was out, I did actually get this book. You would have seen me show it uh, when I was at the bookshop. So that is the bookshop that I work at. It's really lovely. I think you can tell, like it's really nice. I don't think I've told you guys this, but I actually ended up transferring where I work. So I don't work at the place that I've been working at for the last like half a year or so. Um, I'm working at a new shop now and I'm down to part-time hours. So I have way more time to make videos, which is really exciting. The reason I wanted to pick this up today was because I was watching Chloe's video this morning. She recently in that vlog got a book called sad girls and it's by lang leave and i was looking up lang leave because sad girl sounds really really good and i think that's her debut novel but what i didn't realize was that she has written so many other books but they just happen to be poetry this is a poetry collection i'm really excited i saw a review of lang leave's book sad girls on goodreads and the review was written by Courtney Pepinell, who wrote Watering the Soul and Pillow Thoughts and all of those. And she said that the book was good for a debut, but it's definitely different than poetry. And I think what she was trying to infer is that Langley's poetry is really good. And this one is called The Universe of Us. And the back says, he and I collided like two predestined stars. And in that brief moment, I felt what it was like to be immortal. First of all, can we just like actually appreciate how beautiful that is? It reminds me of the Song of Achilles. That absolutely sounds like something that Madeline Miller would write. I think this poetry collection is inspired by the universe and like the stars and celestial bodies and stuff like that. Oh my goodness. That is absolutely beautiful. And then the front cover is also really gorgeous. Like the pink, the writing, this picture. This kind of reminded me of the author photo. Wow, I'm really excited to read this. I think I might start it today because I'm about to FaceTime Kay when she gets back from Starbucks. And I think we're just gonna FaceTime for the afternoon because I think she's studying. We used to do this all the time, like months ago, we used to FaceTime while she was studying and when I was like doing other things like reading or like editing or whatever. And yeah, I really wanna get back to that. So we're gonna FaceTime today, which will be really lovely. Okay, so that's my update for now and I'll speak to you later. Hey guys, so it's obviously a bit later now. I've just spent the afternoon watching a bit of Bridgerton season one because I wanted to rewatch it before the new season comes out on Saturday. And I've been reading this poetry collection. I decided not to read this yet because I've heard other people say the same things as I am and I'm just scared now that it's gonna be crap. But yeah, <laughs> I started reading this and it's really, really lovely. I already love so many of the poems and I'm about a third of the way through. If I love this whole book, then I'm definitely going to try more of Lang Leaves collections in the future as well. So yay, I'm so glad that I got this today. And now me and my boyfriend decided that we're going to go on a little date and we're gonna go to dinner. So I think we're gonna go get pizza or something. So I think this is it from me today and I will catch up with you guys probably later in the week.
Hello guys, it's been a few days again. Like I said, I had work. Emily actually came to London yesterday, so she's staying with us uh, for the next few days. So I kind of just chilled with her yesterday. I was planning on vlogging, but then I just didn't. We did a little bit of shopping. I got this new yellow cardigan. Isn't this the cutest thing you've ever seen? I love it so much. I also got a couple of books actually. Literally, I think I remember at the beginning of this vlog saying that I'm supposed to be on like a semi book buying ban and then I've just been buying books. Um, so yeah, I just saw them at work and I thought, yeah, like why not? So the first one is Lemon by Kwon Yo Sun and that is actually really beautiful. I saw it in the bookshop and I didn't realize that we had it there. So then I was just like, you know what? I really want to read it. The tagline is, this is not a murder story. It is the story of those left behind, but it's supposed to be kind of like a thriller as well. Um, and it's really short. I can't wait to read this soon. I would read this today. I think I'm going to take it with me on my bag anyway. I would read this today, but there are other books I need to prioritize this month. And then the other book that I got is Know My Name by Chanel Miller. And this is about the Stanford sexual assault case. This is basically her memoir. And I'm trying to get more into nonfiction recently recently and this one came into the bookshop as well and I saw it and I was like you know what I haven't seen this before in the bookshop so I just want to snap it up so I got it now let's get into what I've been reading so I ended up finishing nothing but black and teeth this morning and I stayed up until like 3 30 a.m last night with Emily basically slating this and just like we ripped into it so I got Emily to like read a little bit of it and honestly we did this thing where like we'd flip to a random page and read a sentence and see if Emily can make sense of it like with or without context it didn't make sense I ended up giving it one star and it was mainly because it was just such a confusing book the writing was like descriptive af but it didn't actually say anything and I wasn't just being stupid there were moments that the writing was really beautiful and I appreciated that but at the same time it was just saying a bunch of adjectives for the sake of it and I just thought it was really really pretentious but it didn't have anything to back that up like it wasn't actually good writing the actual plot itself was really hard to follow even though it should have been really straightforward and the characters were just really bland really two-dimensional didn't develop whatsoever you were kind of thrown into this friendship group and I still don't know what they meant to each other i still feel like some of the characters just shouldn't have been there like they just didn't add anything to the story for a horror it just wasn't scary at all reading this scared me more than reading the actual book and i'm such a scaredy cat i'm such a scaredy cat <laughs> like it just didn't do anything it just didn't give me anything and i'm so shocked that so many people have given this like four or five stars i think on goodreads it does have like a relatively low average rating for goodreads like goodreads in general has like quite a high average rating on a lot of books and this one had a below three star average rating so you could kind of like go into it telling that this is like a polarizing book yeah i see that in like all of my friends reviews of it like not my personal friends but my friends on goodreads like you can see that it's either one or two stars or like four or five stars I just don't get the appeal of this like it looked so promising and i'm actually really disappointed it's emily <laughs> i got through the rest of this this morning while emily was sleeping it was a really quick read but it was confusing to the end and it honestly hasn't added a single thing to my life other than like anger at the author for being so pretentious did you pick a book what did you pick diary blood what did you pick <laughs> why are you laughing oh my god <laughs> okay so basically i just left emily upstairs because she was debating what to read because she brought my dark vanessa and kingdom of the wicked she finished my dark vanessa on the train so she can't read any more of that obviously <laughs> duh and then she's not enjoying kingdom of the wicked so she just doesn't want to read it like we're supposed to be going to the park to potentially like read a little bit in the sunshine anyway so i left her upstairs with my bookshelves to decide if she wanted to read anything from them literally like that is so rogue <laughs> I know. that is like ridiculously rogue i'm kind of jealous <laughs> i don't care like how much oh I yeah get that's you like i'm not like i want to finish this but, but imagine you do get like that i mean I you can just... take it you can take it i think i have a version of it that's um life and death but it's like split halfway so, oh, so you flip it upside twilight. down and, okay. yeah that's good but i just wanted to read something for today you know that is so wrong of you i can't believe that let's go to the park
Hey guys, so the reason that Emily's here this weekend is because it's show weekend for the dance school that I'm at and we're doing a uh, performance for charity on Saturday and Sunday, so tomorrow and the next day and Emily's helping out backstage, which is really exciting. Tonight we actually went to the kind of like last rehearsal with the whole dance school and then we picked up burritos and tacos on the way back for a little treat. So we're gonna have those now, we're gonna decide what movie to watch. We watched Wild Child last night, which was so fun. Emily? No. <laughs> that was so funny. <laughs> oh god, okay. Well anyway, yeah, I just thought I'd like update the vlog. I might actually take you guys with me show weekend, uh, depends. How stressed I am to be honest and obviously I can't like film any kids in the background like that. 